Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are joined back by royalty people, the one, <laughs> the only Countess Luann de Lesseps. Hi, David. Hello, Luann. You know, how are you? I guess let's just start with that. I'm good. I'm good. You know, um, it was um, it was a, an ego bruiser for sure, but you know, um, a learning experience because you know that's what it has to be. I think falling off the ladder or falling off the wagon, falling off the ladder, whatever you want to call it, falling off the wagon is a part of recovery. And you know, I'm a very public person, and so you know, um, the whole world is going to know about it. Um, and it's a struggle. You know, the struggles for real. Um, and I'm focusing on, you know, day by day, one day at a time and, you know, um, and sobriety has, you know, been a struggle for me for the last couple of years. So it's, it's important to me, um, to be healthy, uh, to live a healthy lifestyle, which I do. Um, but you know, I fell off the wagon and I own it and, um, it's not easy to deal with, but I'm dealing with it day by day and I'm doing everything that I need to do. You know, I, um, I have a supportive family and friends. Um, I'm taking care of myself. I'm, you know, I'm doing meetings. I'm, you know, seeking the right help. So to take care of myself. And that's the most important thing is learning from this and, um, you know, relapse is a part of recovery and, um, I'm on, I'm on the road. I'm back on the wagon. Let's put it that way. So thank you, David. Listen, I mean, like I said, and I wouldn't blame you. I really, this just happened. I really was this morning said, I don't know if Luann's going to show up for this chat. <laughs> well, you know, I, um, I'm, I'm being honest about it. You know, I think the whole world struggles with these issues and I hope I can be helpful to people to know that, you know, if you fall off the wagon, you can get right back on and it's really um, day by day. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that I have so many um, supportive, you know, people and friends and family that um, are, are helping me along this journey. And it, and it is a journey, you know, it's, it's, again, it's one day at a time and, and that's what I'm doing. And, um, you know, I, uh, I want to, you know, make my performances um, the best they can be, you know, cabaret for me is a way of putting out, you know, that energy and um, my creativity. And I love it so much. I've been to many of my shows. Um, so my all new show is going to be fantastic in New York. Um, I kick off my dates at 54 Below, the iconic 54 Below on April 17th through the 30th. So I'm super excited about that um, because it really, it keeps me busy and, and Cabaret really has saved me in so many ways uh, throughout the years. And I'm just thrilled that everybody loves the show and, um, and I'll let you comment on the show because you've been many times. I have been many times and you're also in your hometown, your home state, Ridgefield, Connecticut as well. Yes, that's time. true on the 16th of April, uh, my first show. Is it, you know, does cab, because like, look, you know, I've been to your shows many times, it, especially at 54 Below, the drinks are free flowing. I always have a good time there, you know, like it, but Cabaret really saves you, even though like you're in that environment, it really Well, just... you know, because for me, for me, you know, Cabaret, it's, it's work. It's my job. I take it very seriously. I, you know, I have an amazing, you know, director, um, Richard J. Alexander, and, um, and I have a great, uh, team of people that I work with. And, you know, um, my focus right now is on cabaret and, you know, people are partying. Absolutely. Um, but for me, it's work. Like I was saying uh, before to somebody that, you know, I did the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, you know, and I was not drinking. Um, I did the whole season 13 of the Housewives um, and I was not drinking. And so, you know, when I'm working, um, I really take that seriously. It's when I'm not busy that it's the problem. <laughs> so it's, um, you know, focusing on that right now has been a godsend for me really in, in terms of sobriety. That's great. And like you said, and then we can move on, like, you know, you do own it. And that's the thing, like it is a journey, right? I mean, so what more could someone want from you or anyone else? I mean, we're all human beings. Right, we're all humans. We all make mistakes. Um, and this has been, you know, a major learning experience for me. And, um, and I think, you know, um, for, for people to understand that, you know, it is uh, a lifelong journey. And I'm sure a lot of people out there can relate. I think they can relate. I think just the difference is, is that they don't have a thousand people taking out a phone uh, at a bar, you know, like it's, it must be harder being in the public eye, I would imagine. Yeah, well, of course it's more difficult. And, um, 
And I think that uh, that's one part that people probably don't understand, um, but I think they understand the struggle is real. Well, listen, I appreciate you showing up here and just holding your head <laughs> high. So, I mean, thank you for that. There's only one way to go, darling, right? You know me and, you know, it's, it's day by day and, um, and this has been a major learning experience for me. And I think in life, you know, you have to learn from your mistakes. You know, I think the problem is, is people need to be honest. And I think um, uh, being honest and, you know, coming out with it and um, recognizing it is, is, is part of the recovery process and um, acknowledging it. And then you can move forward. I mean, if you don't understand you have a problem, then, you know, you have a problem. Absolutely. Well, as discussed in your book, Class with the Countess, it's not it's not how hard you fall. It's how you get up and, you know, recover. So did you and this is literally the last question about this, because I want to talk about your cabaret. Did you hear from anyone on your cast from Roni once this made national? Headlines? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. All the girls have been supportive. And um, and, you know, and I appreciate that. You know, I put a message out on Instagram thanking everybody because I had so many beautiful messages from people. And it means a lot to me, you know, I've, um, you know, I've, you know, I've had a lot of very good moments, um, again, filming and working in cabaret and um, I pull myself up by my bootstraps. And I think that's the most important thing is that when you do fall, it's, you know, it's how you get up that really does matter. Absolutely. Well, I have seen your cabaret, as you say it many a time. And just yesterday, I feel like I was donning my Santa hat and we were talking about all your Christmas <laughs> shows, which were phenomenal. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Here we are. So for people that haven't, like, what is this, what is this incarnation going to bring us as you go to 54 Below and you're heading out of the country to Canada this time? Yes, I'm going, you know, I'm doing my first uh, trip out of the country to uh, Toronto on June 3rd and Montreal on June 4th. Then I'm going off to Los Angeles um, at the end of June, uh, the 23rd through the 26th, I'll be at the El Rey Theater. I'm um, so super excited about doing Los Angeles again. I haven't been out there in a while with COVID and everything. So, you know, this is an all new show. Uh, for me, each time is about each new show is about new music um, and things uh, that relate to my life at the time. You know, um, for example, you know, I'll be talking about the things that have been happening in my life and most recently this, um, because it is a part of my life and that's what my cabaret shows are all about. I kind of integrate, you know, stories that, that are happening in my life, Ultimate Girls Trip that happened recently, um, you know, all new music. Um, I, as always, I do a Q&A with the audience, which is my, the fans' favorite, favorite part. Um, and, you know, I always have a kind of a video aspect. Um, and, you know, as I said, I have a great new director. And um, so you can expect an all new show. Of course, my last show was the holidays. So this will be totally different. I'm doing some pop songs that, um, that I'm really excited about. Um, and some of my classics, of course, because I have to do some of my classics, but with a new spin. Do you have a favorite of your classics? I mean, they're all just so good. Viva La Diva, Feeling Giovanni. 